I do think that, you know, I, biology was probably not the best choice for me. Um, I didn't really enjoy studying biology that much at the University of Amsterdam, and, and I might have dropped out in the later stages. Um, but at some point, I met Richard Flavel and Pete Borst, and that really saved me. Um, they, they were molecular biologists. This was the, the revolution in recombinant DNA technology taking place in the late 70s. And they were very inspiring scientists. And once I had, you know, met them, I, 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 I saw the light, and I became extremely enthusiastic about pursuing biology um, for the rest of my life. All of a sudden, there was nothing else that I wanted to do. So the whole story of telomeres and the end protection problem started maybe 75 years ago with the work of Barbara McClintock and Herman Miller. They were early sighted geneticists who were working on chromosomes and they made an unusual observation. They found that broken chromosomes could not survive if they lacked the end of the chromosome. And they coined the word telomere for the end of the chromosome. Telomere stands for telos, the Greek word for end. And they sort of guessed that a telomere was a special element that was needed to protect chromosome ends. If you broke a chromosome in a cell, the cell took note of this. What happened is that the cell set off an alarm that allowed the cell to know that there was broken DNA. The cell then stopped in the cell cycle, it didn't divide, and it went on to repair the break. Good idea, because the cell should not divide with broken DNA. This makes a mess of the genome, it could lead to cancer. How do telomeres allow cells to make this distinction between broken DNA and the natural ends of chromosomes? My lab and a number of other groups worked out this problem, and we identified a group of six proteins that hang together and sit on the telomere, and we termed this group of proteins Sheltrin. What Sheltrin does is it takes the end of the chromosome, loops it back, and tucks it into the DNA. And so, if you think about it, what Sheltrin does is hide the end. There really is no end. It's tucked in so that these repair pathways and the alarm system they can look all they want, but there is no end to be found at the telomere. I found this subject in telomeres that I really love. I, I feel I'm, I'm blessed that I'm working on something that I like so much. So for me, doing this research is like, it's an intellectual heaven. I, I enjoy every minute I'm working on this subject. You know, people ask me, you know, do you, where do you get your inspiration or, you know, what drives you? I don't feel like anything drives me. It's, it's easy. I have a very easy life inside.